New Tech Key Pen Mini. How's it going everybody? This is Andy with AspenValleyVapes.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kangertech K-Ken Penny. The Kangertech K-Ken Penny. The latest in the AKD series from Kangertech and also a follow-up on the Kangertech K-Pen. This is the mini version right here. Like always, we're going to go over the basic specs on this device. Have a vape on it, dive in, take a close-up look, see what it comes with, take a look at the mod. Not much to see here, very basic, straightforward device. Then we'll bring it back up top, have a few more vapes on it, and I'll give you my overall thoughts on the Kangertech K-Pen Mini. Starting off with the basic specs on this K-Pen Mini, it is an all-in-one device here, internal battery setup, charged via micro USB right here. No adjustable, nothing on here, just five clicks on, five clicks off to turn off the device, turn it back on. Battery life indicator is that same that we've seen on a few of the latest Kangertech products. It's that little dot system, five dots, fully charged takes a dot down as the battery does start to deplete. So it does give you a good indication of when you need to plug it back into the charger, get it fully charged again, and be ready to go. The internal battery inside of here is a 1500 milliamp hour internal battery. Decent size for a sleek little setup like this. The diameter is 22 millimeter diameter. It does have top filling. You just remove this top cap that I'll be able to show you better in the close up. And it has a two mil e-liquid capacity inside of this tank up here. Airflow on this tank is not adjustable. It's just set at what it is. And this tank uses the SSOCC coils. It only comes with one and it's the 0.5 ohm nichrome coil. I'd like to see it come with two, but I'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and have a vape on it right now. I have the Slush Classic Lemon inside of here. Fantastic, fantastic e-liquid 80-20 VGPG blend. Battery life on here is four dots, so it's nearly fully charged. And then the 0.5 ohm SSOCC nichrome coil is the coil inside of here. All right, here we have the packaging on the Kangutech K-Pen Mini. You can see the device pictured on the front, AKD series. Flip it on over, you just get the basic specs, what it comes with, K-Pen. One of the 0.5 ohm nichrome coils, micro USB manual. Open up the box here, K-Pen user manual, Kangutech warranty authenticity checker. You'll get the 0.5 ohm nichrome coil, the K-Pen Mini, and then a micro USB cable to charge it. Here you can see the K-Pen Mini up close, same design as the original K-Pen, just in a shrunken down mini version here. This is the rainbow color edition. You can see the micro USB cable for charging. You do have your fire button located right here. When you, when you do press it five times, it will turn on the device. When you hold down the fire button here, you can see the battery life indicator. It will go from five to four to three to two to one once it is time to do a charge. So that's how you can keep an eye on your battery life. On the top, they kept this little telescopic drip tip. This one's a little bit rounded on the end. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't really see a point of it, but they do have it on here and it's a little bit more sturdy than it is on the K-Pen original version. Here you can see the three airflow slots, three on each side. It is not adjustable. 0.5 ohm coil inside of there. You do have the option to use some of those other SSOCC coils though, but this only comes with the 0.5 ohm nichrome version. Two mil e-liquid capacity inside of there. I would like to see this little tank viewing window be a little bit better to see your e-liquid when it's filled up to the top. Uh, it does obstruct the view a little bit. Not a deal breaker though. This top portion is also top filling, so you can just unscrew the telecop telescopic portion. There you can see the top filling from above. Two decent sized filling holes on the side there. Screw that top portion back on. First time filling it up, let your juice sit in there for about five, 10 minutes before vaping on it. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Straightforward, just like the original K-Pen. This is just a mini version, 1500 milliamp hour internal battery inside of here. Um, I think the construction on this one, I don't know what it is, but it just feels a little bit more high quality compared to the original K-Pen. I'm gonna mention later, it might just be the finish on here. The stainless steel finish is better than that painted stainless steel finish on the original one. Here you can see it in the palm of my hand, just a quick size overview. Here's a size comparison next to a single 18650 mod with the X-Baby on top. But yeah, that pretty much takes care of this close up. Super straightforward, easy to use device, not much to it. Changing the coils is pretty simple. Everything is pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions on the K-Pen Mini, if I missed something here in the close-up, it feels like it was super quick. Uh, let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you for now. Let's bring it back up top, have a few more vapes on it. Then I'll give you my overall thoughts on the K-Pen Mini. All right, now we've got that close, by the way, it's gonna have a few more vapes on it. Same coil in here, 0.5 ohm. Same battery life, still at four dots, bars on here. And then I still have the Slush Classic Lemon 80-20 blend inside of here.
0.5 ohm coil on a device like this, internal battery, no adjustable wadge or anything like that, it does produce a good amount of vapor, surprisingly. Let's go ahead and have that one quick more. Not bad at all, not bad at all. This slush classic, the lemon is fantastic. The other flavors are good too, but I am a huge fan. Most people cannot do lemon flavors right, but this company definitely did lemon flavors the right way. Flavor on these coils, surprisingly, I like it a lot. I used to not like the 0.5 ohm Nichrome SSOCC coils. I was more a fan of the Canthal version, but these ones, maybe they tweaked it up a little bit because it performs pretty darn good inside of this K-pin flavor-wise, and then you guys can see the vapor production from this 0.5 ohm coil, which is also pretty good. On my overall thoughts on this K-Pen Mini here, it is a pretty good setup for an internal battery all-in-one sort of system. Um, I would like to see adjustable airflow. And then the drip tip on here, just like on the K-Pen, it has that retractable drip tip style where you twist it. It's sort of gimmicky, but at least on this one, it's a lot more sturdy than it is on the original K-Pen, not the mini version. It was just a little bit loose in there. This one seems more sturdy. I don't know how many people are using that where they twist it in, twist it out, but they did include it again on this mini version, so it must be a feature that some people are looking for. In terms of the overall finish and stuff on here too, maybe it's just the color options. They're more metallic-y than the pastel, like on the K-Pen original, but it just feels a little bit higher quality. The material, even though I'm pretty sure it's the same, just the mini version, the finish and the colors, it makes it feel like a more sturdy device, a little bit better build quality compared to, I think the one on the K-Pen original, I had like the teal greenish color version, but this version here, it doesn't have any paint on it or anything. It's just colored stainless steel and I prefer that more. I would like to see adjustable airflow on a setup like this, but it's not included. I would say it's a pretty middle, pretty middle ground airflow. It's not super airy, it's not super tight. So you could lean either way with the mouth to lung versus direct lung, though this kit right here is definitely focused on a direct lung vapor because it comes with the 0.5 ohm coil. But, and most people that do mouth to lung vaping aren't using 0.5 ohm coils. I'm one of the exceptions to that. I do use like 0.3, 0.4 ohm baby beast coils and stuff when I am vaping mouth to lung. But for the most part, most people that do direct lung vape are on the sub ohm coils. Most people that mouth to lung vape are above the direct lung. There is a few exceptions to that, like some Inokin products that have good 0.8 mouth to lung style coils. The Aspire Breeze, I mouth to lung 0.6 ohm coil. So if you were a mouth to lung vapor, I would point you more in the direction of like the Inica Endura T20S, very similar design to this, but comes with a 0.8 ohm coil and has a better mouth to lung airflow. If you are a direct lung vapor and you're looking for a little all-in-one setup like this, this is a good option. No leaking, no problems on that. I like the SSOCC coils flavor. Vapor is pretty decent. Flavor is good. I haven't had any leaking issues. It's got a battery indicator. Easy to use, easy to change out the coils. So yeah, overall, it is a good device. There's some other options out there that are comparable. It just comes down to which one you guys like aesthetically. Also the price point compared to some of these like the Stick V8, some of those other ones that are sort of the same style. But yeah, that pretty much is gonna wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. If you have any questions on this K-Pen Mini or any other vaporary questions in general, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And as always, vape on.